I've noticed a couple of uh, YouTube videos where people have made starships and they have failed to clamp the pedals. That is the very first step you do uh, to compact the coral design and you need to do that so that the inner circle is based on the road and math. So clamp uh, your pedals first and uh, you can go an alternate uh, north, south, east, west and then fill in the rest. But this is most important. Next is to add the center uh, restraints which I would use eight. This is a, a, a update of my jig which unfortunately I bought the wrong type of tees. I wanted to wind uh, coils that had more turns and I bought these uh, long uh, tees from uh, a local store here and they're plastic and what happens is they bend and so as you get toward the top or the end of the coil the center diameter is changing getting smaller so this is not something that's desirable at least I don't think so. Also don't stagger the height. I thought that'd be a great idea when, when you get these pins closer like in a three inch coil but actually you want to have them all the same. And so here's uh, my update. Uh, I went and bought better wooden tees that are four inches and you have the index pin. The index pin keeps you from repeating the pattern and also gives you the correct uh, 24 count as you go around the circle. And so uh, these are very hardwood tees and there they are and when you're making your jig try to use three quarter inch uh, plywood or so and use a drill press if possible so that you have straight aligned tees. I just used it by eye and I need to build a better one. And here they are even a space and you can see that there's enough space between the, the top of the tees to get the wire inserted. And even if they touch it's real easy just to move them apart and the beauty of this your, your windings don't come off the, the, the winding. You can use polished nails to do the same thing. This is actually the coil I built on the tees, the plastic tees that bend. And what happened was the one side, the diameter of the uh, vortex is, is larger. And the top one, as you see here, is, is smaller. So uh, that, for my use, well, I wanted to make this for my Bedini, just did not work out well. You can see a closer view of it here. So I'm going to have to redo this. Now this particular uh, coil had uh, about 24 turns on the uh, A winding and about 48 on the B winding. And it really looks great as you can see here coming up with this next picture. It looks very good as far as uh, you spaceship lovers. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful looking uh, uh, coil. Uh, you can put this in a vise, a wooden vise, and compress it so that you have a smaller uh, a vortex of magnetic field. When you do that you want to take up your, your tension on each one of these uh, tabs uh, that you use for clamping the pedals in the inside. This is one that looks very similar to the one I did earlier except I have fewer turns on the primary 22 gauge wire and I have a, uh, a C winding which is about 40 I think 40 or 48 turns maybe more than that and this worked out really well. This is going to be my Bedini one. I'm going to be passing the magnet through the center. Not over the top of the field, but through the center. And I, I think that's going to work out really well because we're going to have a magnetic pole to pull and then pulse away on the other side. And so I have to work on uh, just getting the uh, uh, the spacing and, and the trigger uh, Hall Effect transistor. Now here's something that's so important. It's, it's something that I didn't think about is how to make uh, how to do a magnetic field distortion this is a, a 21 turn mono starship uh, 12 point core and uh, what we're going to do here we're going to fold it in half either along the magnetic pole or the uh, winding uh, uh, axis and this gives you uh, actually this is the first magnetic shape this would allow you to not have to pass the magnet through the opening but across the uh, the gap and then you can take this same shape and just turn it upside down in a moment. You'll see that. And this allows you to have a really compact magnetic field by doing this. And the neat thing is these pedals with insulated washers can be your mounts. So it doesn't matter which way you go. Top folded over or bottom folded over. It all works out the same. And uh, I'm really excited about this. And here's some more views. This is just laying down. You can see where the, the three pedals down at the top, three at the, uh, at the bottom. That's where you would mount your screws. Now, if you flip it over, you'd use those pedals on the left and the right because they'd be contacting the wood or whatever your uh, your device is ma mounted on. So uh, I just want to show you here also that you'll see where the magnetic field is. 
through this and uh, this works really well and um, I built several more uh, coils that I've tested. In fact, they'll flip the magnet over and the magnet will come down right in the hole and be in the levitation mode when it lands. Pretty neat, repeated that many times.